a couple of things that I want to show you that I think are actually kind of important. One thing I want to show you is the motor size. Uh, both these motors here are, this is a 1306, that's a 1307, they're roughly the same exact size, okay? This is an 1806, okay? You can see how much smaller the 1306 is compared to the 1806. Okay, somebody had said that this was a 1306 and it's not. Okay, here's an 1806 and here's the one on the RC Logger in comparison, all right? Now let me show you the RC Logger compared to a 1306. See the difference? Huge difference, guys. So the RC Logger is somewhere in between a 1306 and an 1806, all right? These motors are not that small. They're small, but they're not that small. The props on this are proprietary, yes they are, but you know what, it saves you the hassle of having to go through all this here and try to find what prop, you know, fits and what prop's going to make your motors hot and what prop's going to burn out your ESC and what pitch you need and da 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 da, you know, it, it takes all the confusion out of that for a beginner, you know, all you do is you buy the props from RC Logger and they have them available, they're not that you know they're not very expensive and you just buy the ones for this quadcopter okay here's the props here's a bag of the props i actually ordered a few myself all right so that takes all the question out of all this mess here for somebody just starting off i want to show you these arms as well these arms fold back guys so in case of an accident a crash or just you could fold all four of these back for uh you know for easy storage it gets really really small with these arms back okay I just want to show you that that if you crash these will fold back instead of breaking which I think is pretty nice alright for storage it is kinda of nice to have them all four folded back it makes it nice and small you know if you want to throw this like into your backpack or whatever you know you're going hiking or something you want to throw this into a backpack that makes it really really small nice compact package. I'll show you these uh, calibration buttons as well. Something else we didn't show in the first one. When you first get this you're gonna have to calibrate it but it's fairly uh, straightforward and easy to do. It's not that difficult. The buttons are right here and these will actually you click these buttons and it gets you into uh, different calibration modes. Alright and they do explain it step by step and if anybody has any questions please feel free to contact me and I'll try to help you through it too if you need any help. This thing has a one axis gimbal and it automatically keeps the horizon all the time. So if you're like this, it's going to be pointing straight forward. If you're like this, it's still pointing straight forward. Where most race quadcopters are like it is right now. When you're flying like this, you can see straight ahead. But as soon as you're like this, you're looking at the sky. Well, not this one, guys. Tilt forward. See how it automatically. Ha. <laughs> As a neat feature, guys. I've never had another quadcopter that does that. So as you're flying, you're always able to see forward. You're never looking at the sky, and you're never staring at the ground. All right, guys. Just want to add that to the to this uh, features video, and we will be doing a return to home. So stay tuned. All right, guys. We're gonna try to return to home on the RC Logger. I actually just hovered it around and flew the uh, the up air one around it just to get some footage. <laughs> And it's uh, pretty windy out and uh, kind of stormy out today. And I'll be honest with you, the RC Logger did better than the Upper One as far as holding its uh, spot, you know, and not moving around. The GPS on this one's rock solid. Uh, we're going to try to return to home, though. I'm actually, that's the one feature I haven't tried. And you do have to be in GPS mode, too, guys. When you activate return to home, it only works in GPS mode. It doesn't work in sports mode or uh, full acro. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it out a little ways. I don't want to go too far because I've been kind of running it. This battery's not brand new. But we're going to take it out to about here over the water too. Yeah, we're doing something else too. We're actually doing a return home over the water instead of like everybody else. They just do it in a big empty field. Well, we're going to try it somewhere else. Uh, I just activated return to home. It's like it's thinking about it. Ah, right, here she comes. All right. So there she goes. Wow, 
Wow. Look at that. Right on the pad, too. Not close. <laughs> pretty close. Pretty accurate. Nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. I'm going to try that again, actually. All right. All right, so, we're going to go out here. And you got to remember, it's really... Uh, windy today guys so all right so we are over this water now actually way over the water now and we're gonna hit the return to home and see what she does as you can see no hands Let's see what she does guys it's like it thinks about it for a second just to make sure that that's what you want to actually do I'm gonna back up Hope this is in the view of my camera as well. There she comes, she's coming down. Very nice, perfect. I'll tell you what, return to home works fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this off, take it out of return to home. And this is also, if you decide at any any time during the return to home you want to get out of it you can go ahead and flip this back up and you take back control of your sticks so very nice guys so return to home works fantastic we're gonna go ahead and unplug this she must be low on battery that's why she's beeping